Bowen and St. Luther family. Man, greetings um, once again, especially a greetings to our men of St. Luther. Hey, y'all know what time it is. It's right around the corner. I'll say it's our men's day. I want to let you know, St. Luther family, that it's one thing that I'm pretty sure about, and that is, is that God has put into me to be an encourager. Um, probably from the time I was little up until my point now, one thing that I realized is God has given me something unique, and that is a thing to be an, an encourager. So it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter if somebody is using a hammer and they need some encouragement. I'm the person that they want to get this hammer going, okay? If it is a spoon or something in the kitchen, it doesn't matter. I'm the person that you want if you need some encouragement. It can be a ball. It can be any kind of a ball. It doesn't matter. I, I just have this thing about being an encourager. And if you want to throw a rock, okay, it doesn't matter what it is. I'm the person that God has given me to be an encourager of others. So, but one of the biggest things that I find sometimes is trying to be an encourager when it comes to ministry or when it comes to um, the work in the church or when it comes to participation in the church. That seems to be sometimes one of the hardest things for me to kind of find a way to encourage. So I want to give this a try as we approach our men's day. Uh, and I want to try to see if I can, if I can, if I can encourage the whole body of St. Luther to come and be a part of this and participate in it. So, so what I want, I want us to think about is as I'm encouraging people and I do things, my method of encouraging is, is that I want to instill in someone that I'm encouraging that they be so encouraged that they begin to be a pursuer of whatever it is that I'm trying to encourage them in. That not only they become a pursuer, but they become hungry, they become thirsty, they become committed and dedicated to whatever that is I'm trying to encourage, encourage them in. That I won't have to keep encouraging them in, they take on that for themselves. So I want us to think about this. I want us to think about anything that's good about me. Anything that's good about you, be it our house, be it our car, be it our job, be it our marriage, be it our children, be it we can sing, we can read, we can pray. If it's good, then that means that it came from God. Okay, all perfect and all good gifts comes from God. So then it's actually nothing about us that's good but it's because God is good. So I want us to remember that. I want us to remember this also. I want us to think about um, when we say fundraise, okay? I kind of want to take that word over here, and I want to put in a word that says sustain, sustainability and possibility. Okay, when you look at the edifices of both of these buildings, when you look at and you think about what does it cost to, for the upkeep of both of these buildings? When you think about all of that and all the things that go into keeping these buildings up and functional, we have a responsibility for sustainability. But then also we have a situation where possibility. Think about the possibilities of what can be done in these edifices. If you can just wrap your mind around, I just look at the outside. If you think about looking at the outside and you think about, man, all the pretty flowers and colors and, and trees and blooms and stuff, that could be a possibility that, that on the outside when you drive by, just the outside itself draws you in. That's a possibility. When you think about all the ministries that can take place and all the classes and all the, the, the outreach ministries, food pantry, um, clothes closet ministry, and all the events, the gymnasium, things that can take place in these facilities, that becomes a possibility. So there's so much that can happen and there's so much more possibility. When I think about St. Luther, I think about our Sunday school classes and I think about that we have some of the most awesome Sunday school teachers that you ever want to find. Man, they study, they're prayed up and the word of God is going forth. When I think about the, the Bible study on Wednesday night, how the man of God is just man. He's, he's word preached 
precept by precept and how everything that he's teaching about on Wednesday night is applicable to us now. When I think about his messages on Sunday, if you'll go back and get them, go back and get the Bible class lesson, everything that he's been teaching and doing has been applicable to the now. So there is an excitement that's going on in St. Luther. And listen, we need to be excited about that. And let me say this. Think about this. Think about when you leave home. Think about the house that you leave home from. Think about the car that you drive when you get here. Think about the clothes and how good you look when you get here. Think about all the, the stuff in the neighborhood, how it's broken down and how things are just looking awful. But then you drive up on this parking lot and you see these two edifices. Can anybody remember where you came from where, where, and where you are now? Well, it's the same thing about St. Luther. Can anybody remember um, that little old bitty church? I tell you what, one thing for me is I, I just get excited about our restrooms. Can anybody remember those little bitty restrooms? Can anybody remember that there was a smell that had been there so long that it, that it went into paneling? Can, can you remember that? Now when I go into the restroom now, I'm going to be honest with you, we should be leaving tips. We, we, I should walk in and there'd just be money all over the restroom floor because we remember where we came from. So St. Luther, what I want to encourage you about is, is that, listen, God has brought us from a mighty long way. He didn't bring Bring us now just to be comfortable. He brought us to that we can fulfill the possibilities that they are here at St. Luther. So I want, I want to encourage you. I'm getting excited. I'm getting fired up. And listen, we have a goal. I want you to know that fundraiser, sustainability, possibility. That's what I want you to focus your mind on and that, that there's even more that God wants to do. So yes, we have a goal of $15,000. I don't think we met that, I really don't. But I wanna encourage you with everything within me that listen, $15,000, that we're gonna reach that goal. We're gonna go beyond that goal because I pray and hope after this, you've been encouraged, you've been motivated. As a matter of fact, when March the 12th comes, we're going to have a report that we've already reached the $15,000 even before that. St. Luther, that's my encouragement. And I pray that that encouragement has motivated you to pursue, to be dedicated, to be committed to our purpose of what we're trying to do here at St. Luther. Oh, we have some of the most outstanding people here. There's nothing in this church, gift-wise, talent-wise, that we like in this church. And I pray and I ask you, not just for Men's Day, but for Women's Day, for, for, for our church anniversary, our tithes and offerings, that we remember two words, sustainability and possibility. I love you. Amen.